pretty positive. And I'm pretty sure Fat Goku... I can't read chat, by the way. I wish I had my phone. But uh, that's okay. I know Fat Goku wants to beat Shane, a.k.a. Eggs. I know Eggs doesn't want to lose to him. Fat Goku is currently number one in the on the PR, right? Fat Goku is number one. Sick. This last ranking period, he made number one. Oh, sick. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm so here with uh, MoFat, by the way. The uh, expert... Stream runner here. Stream expert man guy. Oh yeah. All right, here we're going into it right now. Fat Goku versus Eggs. Why yeah. were we old as like a year? Dude, yeah, I was gonna ask you like how old is that? Like so, Fat Goku started as not a very good player, obviously. Um, uh, but I heard he used to like get bodied pretty much by yeah. like, Shane, Shane's crew, like Gage. Yeah, absolutely. Like the thing with uh, with Steven Fat Goku was that he was one of the only players that really, really wanted to get better. You know, he uh, just had that drive at him, and he good. really wanted to get better. And he would go over to Shane's place all the time and play Foxes with him endlessly. And this is before he was Fat Goku, right? This is when he had a different name, Noob Cube. Noob Cube, yeah, that was his, <laughs> that was his name back then. <laughs> the legend. I think he's only had a uh, Fat Goku for a little under a year. Okay, okay. probably like eight months or something like that. Uh, but yeah, he just really wanted to get better, and he trained with Eggs a lot, and. I'd say the last like six months or so, he's been even to a little bit better than Eggs. Yeah, that's really really cool to see. It's good to see like players who uh, really want to get good get good, obviously. Um, so it's a big good match, dude. Like Eggs plays very different from Fat Goku, though. Yeah. I feel like uh, Eggs would say Fat Goku plays like a lame but I think that's a okay. He plays more like Leffen esque patient, um, where I feel like Eggs like really tries to force his openings. Yeah, like like Fat Goku is he's he's more along the lines of a textbook fox. Mm -hmm. uh, he does have his own style, but then Eggs really has his own style. He's a very flashy player. Yeah, definitely. So I noticed that from playing him just a little bit. Pretty even game here though, and like I, I was saying that like neither of them want to lose to each other. Obviously, you never want to lose to your opponent, but like I feel like these two really don't want to lose like, to this, each other. Like it's like a master apprentice kind of situation yeah. that's going on here. And this, this is really funny. <laughs> I didn't yeah. think of it that way. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty much what it is, and it's like everyone's like, "All right, well, the the apprentice has become the master now, yeah, and like he can even defeat Eggs at any time he wants." This but is a like, Disney movie, yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah. Um, to my understanding, I think uh, Eggs beat Fat Goku last time, and then, um, but I, Fat Goku had beat him previously a few times, right? Yeah, like basically how it's been going for the last few months, um, last like three or four months, is Fat Goku has just been beating Eggs at every single tournament. Uh, drop zone, Eggs beat Fat Goku. Mm. It was a close set, but um, it was pretty obvious who had the advantage the whole time, and he played really good during drop zone. I see. All right, all right. So, I mean, it's pretty much a straight even game right now. No one's really getting too uh, crazy of punishes. It's just uh, been a lot of neutral. Um, and a lot of, like, counterattacks, just as we saw there. Yeah. Like, Eggs is uh, pretty good at baiting, but uh, I feel like Fat Goku, once he gets his entry, like, his punish game can be pretty sick. Like, during mm -hmm. Arsene, even, like, he had some... It was pretty close, I thought, even though it was 3-1. Yeah, like um, with, within Oregon, he's notorious, notoriously good at Fox Diddles. Mm. Uh, actually, at the Oregon Shuffle, he beat Mewtwo King in a Fox Diddle. I heard about that. Yeah, someone was yeah. mentioning that. That's crazy. No, he's really, really good at Fox Diddles. I was expecting to lose him. I mean, we still might have to play him losers, so uh, that's a kick. It still happened. It would not surprise me. Yeah, he's really, really good. He stepped it up. Someone was telling me that uh, him and Eggs, when they used to train, they never thought he would, that uh, Steven Fat Goku would actually ever get good. <laughs> so it's really funny that, like, yeah, now he's beating him up. But yeah, you're saying that it's a lot about the neutral game with these guys, and yeah. like I feel like that's just because they they were training partners for such a long time. Yeah. And Eggs pretty much just trained Fat Goku for over a year, and so I think it's got to be about the neutral and them finding new ways to get in on each other, yeah, rather than all the same old way that they've been doing, you know, throughout their training. I can see that. See, so, you know, like Eggs, like we're saying, even has his own style. Like he could have easily just gone for the uh, up throw, up smash right there and got the kill, but he like waited for the secondary option. Uh, we'll see what Goku can do to bring it back. Hopefully this can be a conversion right here. He has him off stage. Does not get the punish there, but he gets the grab. Oh, tries to go for a little bit of style there. And see, like, this is the clutch moment where, where Fat Goku says, all right, I'm going to get one hit, and then that's going to be it. I'm going to follow him all over the stage. Yeah. I'm going to take his stock. I notice he has his moments, too. Like, he'll just turn it up. If you can play that up the whole time, I can see him getting it. Up air is going to convert, and Fat Goku, a little bit of a deficit here. 69%. Take that, see uh, what he can do to bring it back, see if Eggs can uh, close out this match. It is a bit of a dangerous oh. combo percent, so he's got to make the first move just like that and get his combos in. Yeah, and he got a little bit of damage here. 35 is not too bad, but we'd like to see that extended. No jump. This is probably going to be the match, and Eggs takes game one. We'll see what we see from Fat Goku. I imagine just from pr playing him, talking to him a bit, uh, he's really good on FD. I think he should probably go FD. But, uh, yeah, like like we were saying, he is really good, good at the Fox Ditto, and Ooh. FD is somewhere where that really shines. And we're not going there. We're going to Stadium. <laughs> which is kind of funny. Way opposite. Good overextension by uh, by Eggs there, just kind of calling out his movement. All right, Fat Goku gets the grab, gets a bit of a punish here, misses that one, but gets the shine and the oh, misses the uh, the European shine and Eggs gets one of his own. That's the unfortunate thing about that situation. If you miss that shine, 
uh, they can really, really just punish you way harder. Yeah, you you put yourself in such a bad situation because suddenly they're recovering and you're you're flying out there and a lot of hits done and there's yeah. not a lot you can do about it. And it sucks too because that shine, like in theory, is guaranteed. Uh, during Foxes, I think it's like last 10 or 11 frames or so. Maybe a couple more, maybe a couple less. During those last frames, he doesn't have a hitbox on his uh, uppie. So that's how that shine's able to come out. Yeah, and it's it's a big enough window that you can always make that. Exactly. If you know what's going on down there. But again, there. if you miss it, you're done. And a little bit of platform play. Good stuff. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, Goku get a little bit more of a... Uh, I guess, like, take his punishes a little further. Like, he ended it right there with an up smash. Um, where he could have, you know, probably gone to the grab, get him on the platform, go for a read, or yeah. go for a, a reaction. I completely right agree, actually. I think that that's, like, that's where his game is starting to lack right now, and I yep. think that's where he's losing the neutral game, or he's lo losing the punish game, rather. Yeah, I agree. Is that he's not taking it quite far enough. That Ooh, was sick. But right there. Yeah, speaking of punish game, that was really, really nice stuff. Yeah, sometimes the basic is, is really good. Um, but yeah, at lower percent, I feel like you should really just go for the uh, the extended combos. Like, yeah. obviously, you know, you want to get as much as you can. Just like the bread and butter stuff. Yeah, definitely. You're like, this is guaranteed. This will give me the percent. This will lead into the real stuff that I want later. And it'll get me the stock. Yeah, and that's exactly how, you know, left and right to play. Just like, over, or like, just getting the combo, get the fat combo every single time. Not going for the, like, left would call the, uh, the up smash lazy. I don't like calling it lazy, but he definitely would. Fox Hills have evolved so much in the last year. Yeah, it's so it's crazy. Been insane. It's been insane. I mean, I think it started with Do You Fox With It? Yep. Those, those Hack Silent Wolf Grand Finals. Yeah, that was sick. And then from there, there's, the ball has been rolling. Yeah, it really, really has. All right, Egg's on a... Now Egg's kind of has the reverse situation where he doesn't have the lead. Uh, Fat Goku doing a really good job of beating out Eggs. Tries to go for an up smash a little preemptively. See if he can convert here. He does, but no death. Love that jump overhead into a falling up air. Yeah, that's really, really good stuff. Because it sets him up for another punish, generally. All right, so pretty much a full stock lead right here by uh, Goku. I'm just going to call him Steven. I like calling him Fat Goku, man. Yeah, no, like, I am I have to make myself call him Fat yeah. Goku. I, I want to call him Steven. We're calling him Steven. I, I like to say Steven slash Fat Goku. All right, good pressure. Nice pressure, and not really overcommitting too much. Yeah, I think in this situation where you know that it could turn on you in a dime, it's it, yeah. you're a little bit more cautious about your commitment. And you're like, you know, I don't want to go too far in because if I mess up, because Fox is an easy character to mess up with, then it can turn on you and you can be done. Yeah, I agree with that. Let's see if we can get a back air or something here. Maybe a shield poke. He does not get it. Goes for a dash attack. Probably an error. Probably going to be a neutral air. Nice power shield Oof. up. Ooh, that was really, really sick by eggs. Like, that, that was fantastic. Yeah, that was really good. Power shield grab. I got the clutch moment too. This is a bad situation though for Egg. See if Goku can close it out. And he gets it. Oh. That grab pulls back sometimes right there on that platform. It's pretty funny. Alright, so good stuff. 1-1 one, one here. We'll see what uh, Eggs goes. With Eggs' style, uh, let's see if we can actually get a counter pick right. I imagine we're going to go with Yoshi's because like how Eggs plays. He plays really fast paced. Oh, he loves Yoshi's. Yeah, he I, ma loves I imagine. Yoshi's. Yeah, just by his play style, I can tell. Uh, he, he's really good at keeping up pressure too and like spacing around it. It's really, really nice to see. Yeah, and I mean, like, just the way he uses the platforms, it will throw off an opponent that has never played eggs before or is not too familiar with this style. You get somebody that is more familiar with this style, like, um, Bladewise knows that platform, those platform shenanigans inside and out. Really? So you won't see those being too effective against him. Does Bladewise usually win? Uh, yeah, he does. Okay. He does. It's been that way for a couple of years now. Uh, but, you know, I imagine it would be a little bit similar with Steven. He'll know those, uh, those platform shenanigans. He'll know what to look out for. Yep, like right there. We uh, saw he tried to go for a platform dash, and Steven calls him out with Love the... Uh, yeah, it's so good to do that. You make it look like you're just going to cover the stage and then just grab the edge real quick. Yeah, two little short hops, and then, oh, I'm back on the... It's one of those tricks that really works one time, but uh, when it does, you know, you got to make it count. All right, good stuff. Got to punish punish here. Go. See if we can get the, the hit here. Oh, accidentally reverses that back here. Gets a forward air out. All right. All right, see if we can get the shine. Oh, he tries Ooh. to go a little bit too deep, and now it's on him. Oh, it's unfortunate. I feel like even if he hadn't messed up his recovery there, uh, Fat Goku could have easily reacted. Oh yeah, that would have been an uh, easy edge guard right there. Yep. All right, yeah, this is a, this is a Fat Goku match pretty much. Yeah, but these guys, they're calling out. Uh, he's calling out his my <laughs> Randall though. <laughs> wow. And a potential four stock situation here. This is not what we want to see from Eggs. This is not what Eggs wants either. This has been a long tournament. I want to point out that Steven has showed a lot of stamina during this tournament because this is, yeah. we're at like 12, 13 hours of this tournament right yeah, now. Yeah, this it tournament's been like, nuts, man. Yeah, it's, it started a long time ago. One day, 130 some odd entrants. Not a lot of setups. Yeah, this tournament was fun though. I had a lot, a lot of fun coming oh, here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I definitely agree with you. I just got some coffee right now, man. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to, I'm trying to win. Win. All right, Get sick. that flight sponsorship. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, Fat Goku just has him really on the run. Like, Eggs is kind of shut down right now. Up smash. 
potentially no? Yep. All right, but gets uh, cleans up with that smash and clean. Three I, if there. I'm not mistaken, I believe he started a taunt. No, did he? Oh. So, are you out, Bart? Yeah. It was nice seeing you. Yeah, dude. Much love, man. I'll see you soon. Have a drive safe, uh, safe drive home. Later, man. Yeah, I agree with the Dreamland pick. It's kind of like the. It's basically the polar opposite of the Yoshi's, you know. So I think he kind of got body there. So he's like, well, let me try something way different. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I think like whatever's going through a player's head when they go from Yoshi's or smaller stage to Dreamland is like, I could not get away. I just yeah. couldn't get away. I need my space. I need. I need a little bit of room to think. Yeah, I see what you mean about Exit's platform movement. It's really, really weird. <laughs> it's nice. It's it's it weird in a good way. Uh, it's really unique. And look at that spacing by Steven. Just like getting around with the lasers and going for the grab. It's like recognizing like, such awareness on his opponent. See if he gets the up smash. Will it kill? I don't think so. Not yet. Dreamland, of course, has high ceilings, and maybe that's a good choice by Eggs even uh, to pick the stage. Yeah, I mean, he is he has eaten a lot of damage and a lot of combos from Steven. And I think maybe he's going, you know, okay, I'm going to accept that. I'm eating a lot of damage, but maybe I'll die a little bit less here. Yeah, I agree. So Eggs is really just having trouble finding his opening. And, like, the way Eggs plays with the platforms and, like, plays with the stage control, it looks like he's trying to play really defensive. And I'm wondering if that's why Fat Goku's doing so well. Yeah, well, the, th um, the thing is, like, um, that's usually meant to be offensive. And you'll see him, if there's a player that is defensive, he will be all over them. He will not let them breathe an inch. And it's that Fat Goku is doing the exact that exact thing to him. He's not letting him breathe. Oh, a little late on that. Yeah, I could see that. Like, uh, I don't know, I really like the way Steven's playing it, honestly. It looks really clean. It's just... Um, Eggs just really has to get a knockdown, dude. He hasn't really been able to get any solid hits in. Um, and, you know, we haven't really... We've seen him playing with the platforms, but we haven't seen him really, like, go in with, with Running Shine, for example. And Running Shine's going to lead a lot of damage into those. Running Shine's going to lead to a knockdown to a reaction tech chase. And, you know, I think that's actually a risk that he really should start taking Yep. at this point. I mean, he's about to be down two stocks to, uh, four. Right, and it's game four. This, this is potentially his last match. Yeah. So, all right, gets a conversion here, and that's going to be the stock. Yeah, he really needs to get a knockdown. He needs to go for something. Um, <laughs> but Bakoku's really good at penetrating, too. He's really good at penetrating someone's zone. All right, going to recover high. Gets a back air. Another edge guard situation here. Uh, this should be able to stock those. And a whole ledge. Yep. I love how when he's on the ledge, he does that early back air just in case he goes for it, uh, goes uh, straight with the Firefox, gets it early, and then he does a double jump back into that higher back air. Yeah, it's smart. It's just really, really good uh, awareness. A lot of people, like, lower level players won't react to that. They'll just hold it. Alright. Yeah, like, Eggs is baiting him there. Like, he's doing the right job, but he's just not getting anything. Yeah, well, I, it's just... Fat Goku, he's just seeing through it. Yeah. Is what's going like, on. Right he's, there. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, that down tilt was amazing. He's like, I know you're baiting me. But he's like, but I'm just gonna keep my distance. Get some proper spacing here. Turn the tables. See if can pick something up here. Ooh. And there it is again. He's oh, he seems to always be forcing Eggs into a situation where he has to be the one to act. Yeah, and you that's know, where the advantage is coming from. I think Eggs' biggest flaw, to be honest, is that he's playing too much platform game right now. Um, platforms aren't really going to benefit you in the Ditto too much. Like ground game, heavy ground game, a solid, <laughs> solid ground game is really what's going to benefit you the most. Yeah, and I mean, um, there's been twice, just in the last like 45 seconds, where where Eggs has done some platform play and he's been up in the air, and Fat Cuckoo just jumped with a back air, caught him right out of it. Yeah, the thing is, like, when Fox is on platform, you have to land. Like, either way, ground game, I think, is the way to go. Kind of like just forcing your opponent to fall into something. All right, so this is uh, Eggs' potential last stock. He needs something big here, so he can get a, a nice punish. Finally going in for those, ro those running shines that we saw, trying to get a knockdown. Good stuff. Fat Goku just playing this game. Just playing uh, the old basic, let me rack damage while I have a lead. Uh, and that's the way to do it sometimes. Like, he's not really, uh, well, well there he did, but as I say, he's not really trying to force a uh, approach too hard. Rana Eggs seems to really be picking it up. Yeah, now he is. Exactly. And he gets the stock, so he needs a nice conversion before Fat Goku gets his, uh, you know, his edge guard opportunity. He's at Fox Little Magic where he gets the one grab. Oh, yeah. that's not good. He wasted his jump. And potential life here. Oh, misses the down smash. Fat Goku playing a little too scary for my taste. Playing near the edge is not a good choice, but he gets eggs off the platform, and that's going to be game. Fat Goku takes that 3 1. Let's see who we got coming up next. We got eBay. This is going to be loser semifinals. Winner eBay, will eBay has a flight at 6 a.m. Oh, I've been wow. Wow. Where? Dude, my flight's at 5 a.m. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. My f I hope you're flying out of uh, PDX. I am. Okay. Oh, my lord. Oh, is he flying out from Seattle? 
I gotta sit down here. All right, so it's important to mention what this is. So uh, if you guys don't know, at this tournament, somebody actually, an anonymous benefactor, as it was told to me, donated five hundred dollars. Something like that, or like a free flight. I think it was a free flight to a national, including some other perks too. Um, for the highest placing non-sponsored Pacific Northwest player. Uh, and what that means, basically, TLDR, is that this is the match that matters. This match right here is going to be uh, for that flight to a national. So whoever wins this, um, of course, will go on to get uh, you know with, within top three, but will also win that uh, that potential flight. So this is, a, this, is a, this is a big deal right here, man. 